All right, guys, in today's video, we're doing some crawdad trapping. Now, the way we're trapping these crawdads are just with some basic minnow traps, but our bait is actually gonna be chicken breast. Since I got two traps, I'm gonna take this piece right here and just split it into two. The reason we're actually going for crawdads is because we're planning on making a crawdad pool pond. Now, we actually did this before, and it looked something like this. And it turned out really cool. We could actually bring meat toss in there and then they'd all come out from under the rocks and start eating it and plus we always knew where our crawdads were if we ever wanted to come out and you know hang out with some crawdads or something kind of like a dog but it can't talk and it doesn't really have any emotion so we're gonna try to do that again there's that there's that now we're gonna head on down to the creek and set them and then for all the crawdads we don't catch we're actually gonna go down to the river and just flip rocks until we find them That should be good. All right, there we go. Now we'll move on to the next spot. Location number two is right there. I think one important thing with trying to catch crawdads is probably the bait you use. We're using a really meaty bait, which is just meat. But if you're going for minnows, you usually go for something like bread. Mm, it's not long enough. That'll be okay. And there's a thunderstorm quickly approaching. So if it starts raining, tell me it's raining. I go into the water. I go to the middle of the water. All right, boys, this is where it begins. Now I just flip rocks until I find them. Now, in the river, this could be good and bad. There could be a bunch of small ones. There could be big ones. I don't really know. The objective is simple. Flip rocks and find crawdads. Oh, there's one right there, boys. There's one right there. And don't be afraid of them. Because if you're afraid, they can sense it. As I run away from one. Yep, I just lost him. I just have to wait till the dust clears and then just go for it. If he pinches me, worst that can happen is I lose a finger. Oh, my bucket's floating away. I better get that. There's about been a crawdad under every rock. So that is a good sign. Yep, there's one there. Goodness, dude, these are big ones too. He got away though. Thing is, I just can't see them once I muddy up the water. It's raining. Is it? Yep. There's a big one. Go get him. What am I doing? What am I scared of? I mean, I'm scared of it. I'm dumb. Come back here, boy. Back here, boy. We got our first crawdaddy. Look at that. His name's Heffrey. Oh, Heffrey gonna pinch me. Yeet. You thought. You thought, boy. Huh. You thought, boy. You thought. You thought, boy. You thought, boy. Huh. You thought. Huh. You thought. You thought. He can't give me. It's too slow. There we go. One crawdad in the bucket, boy. If we ever need bait, this is the place to come right here. Like, I've seen at least 30 crawdads so far. Boom. On to the next one. How many are you planning on getting if you're able? At least one more. There we go, boys, there's number two. He's not big, but the thing is, uh, right now we're just going for numbers, okay? We build the community first, then we go for the big ones. Let's we'll see him. He thinks he's quick, but he ain't. He, he just ain't quick, you know? That was a lightning bolt. You know, we could think of this as preventing us from making a good video. Or we could think of this as the perfect recipe for a good video. That's what I'm thinking. Kentucky boy gets struck by lightning and dies three times. I'm down for that. I mean, if lightning strikes the river, does everything in the river die? No. I don't think. Maybe. I don't know. It is starting to rain now. And since we are sweet as sugar, we might melt. We're going to head on in. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And... And we're, and we're in a thunderstorm. That's that's important. Too. That should be enough though. We can transport these. It's about to go boom. It's about to go boom. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Dude, imagine if I brought one of those minnow traps and set out here with a piece of chicken breast. No limit. We would have at least like 30 crawdads. But as for now, we leaving. Peace. As we have came to our amazing 
crawled out catching spot, you can see that that rain that we experienced yesterday was actually a torrential downpour. So we cannot go down to the river because we cannot see anything. Actually, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna look anyhow. I don't have high hopes because I can't see in the water. Unless I'm half raccoon down here, I'm gonna have to see what I'm trying to grab. But we'll give it our best shot. Hit me with your best shot. <clears throat> Try not to get my socks soaked. Somebody parked me in the stream. I can see a little bit in there. I can't really see that deep though. I can see this rock right here. Let me flip it. And if I can't see anything, we'll just go check our meat traps. Yeah, I can't see anything. What a shame. Some would even call it a sham. A sham? Some. That's like a sham wow. That's what you clean up messes with. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know. I guess let's head on back and let's go check those meat traps. Stinking swole. You got a nice personal beach down here. Yeah, it ain't personal, but I'll take it. Let me try to skip a rock real quick. All right. What if you try to skip the water on a rock? I just skipped a 10 pound rock. Let's go check a meat trap. I have to say, you actually did. We're gonna do a five second intense, intense dubstep music montage. So you get, you get some clips right here, son. All right, roll the montage. We came up to our first meat trap. All right, now we're gonna see if we actually got anything. Um, looks like we got three minners, and that's it. That's not good. No, it's not. Most of our chicken breast still there. I tell you what, I'm just gonna dump him right back in there, and we'll just come back tomorrow, and uh, we'll give it another day. Maybe the flood last night messed up the crawdads or something. All right, now we'll go down to the other one. We might have something, we might not. If not, we'll do the same thing as this. We'll just We'll come back tomorrow. About done, went in for a swim. Oh, we got one. At least one. Oh my goodness, we have a huge one. We're taking this and home with us. Hand me my mentor bucket. Dude, we got some good ones right here. I tell you what, a monster. I tell you what we're gonna do. Since we still have this big old piece of meat, I'm just gonna straight up just reset it. But as for the ones we did get, lordy goodness. That's a lobster. That's, it's getting there. The thing is like, give it a couple more months, He'd be a lobster. You could sell him the red lobster. Let go. Gosh. You know his name? Look at that. Licorice. That's his name. You know what they called him on the streets? Big sexy. Yes, but not the one I was looking for. We'll go ahead and dump him in. His name? Tammy. <laughs> now for this other big one. This guy's from Slavian descent. Nikola. Nickel. Nikola. That's exactly right. Now for the rest of these. Oh, dude, what the heck is this? We got one of them rare ones again. Look at that. See it? Got one of them rare ones right there. It's got like that blue and orange tail. We're actually going to let him go because, well, we don't want to use him for bait. There you go, buddy. Anyways, it looks like we got two or three more crawdads in there. So we're just going to go ahead and dump them in with the minners too because I'm actually trying to get bait. There we go. We'll put that up. Now right here, we're just going to straight up. Uh, we're going to set it back. That way we can come back tomorrow and check it. I know a name for the other crawdad. Well, which one? Just the other one that was in there. Which one? What's his name? Korean Dream. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, let's take these on up to the pool pond, and then we'll get these boys situated. Up next, we're building habitat in our crawdad pool pond. There's a there's a stick that's that's really nice. Now we need a brick because they like bricks. Also, we need water. I found a brick. Here is the brick that I found. It is a good looking brick. I'm going to put this brick right here. Next we need, I have an idea. This is a good idea. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. It's a floating pool pond on the pool pond. Is that not great? That's a pretty good idea. Oh, that didn't work as planned. There goes the pool pond. Let's just go to the top. Whoa, what happened here, man? We lost all of our grass or something. Need some algae eaters. Uh, that pool pond may not last long, but here's the thing. Worst case scenario, it absolutely collapses and they just join the big pool pond. Does that sound all right? They'd probably enjoy that. That's what I'm thinking. Either way, it's a win-win. It's a win-win-win-win. And we're going to take some of this grass and we're going to put it in that little pond in case they, they like it or something. 
part. This is where the hard part comes though. We actually have to separate the crawdads and the minnows. Because the crawdads go in there, but the minnows go in here for bait in a later video. You better watch old big sexy in there. He'll take a finger right off. <laughs> Poor guy, brother. Let him go. He didn't do anything to you. <laughs> Buddy. Straight knock him out. Say it to his face one time there, Ethan. Say it to his face. What? Whatever you want to say. You want to talk smack? Talk to him here. Talk smack him, biggin. He's got the camera. He's got the camera. You need to let go. There he goes. We're going to go ahead and let him right in here. What was you saying about this guy? When he walks, he doesn't even walk. He rotates the earth beneath him. All right. First one going in there. There you go. There we go. He knows where water's at. That's nice. He's smart. He's smart. He's already trying to kill you, bait. The other one. Wait, did the other one just escape? No, there she is. <gasps> did you see that? Dude's aggressive. This one was the Korean dream. So, because he only has one pincher. Really nice. This one's name was what? I done forgot. No, this one was, this one was Nikola. Yeah, Nikola. Nikola, look at his claws, okay? They're short. They're stubby. But now they got a lot of meat on them, and they can kill you. Literally kill you. Gunshot wound? Put him on there. He'll hold it shut. Perfect. It's kind of good because it, we even have a little ethnic diversity. We have some that are dark, some that are white, and it's nice. That no Verdar, he tried to attack the brick. When he threw him in there, he grabbed a hold of it. It's a, it's a hard knock life, as they say. There's one more. One more. One more. Perfect. All right, that's all of them. So far, that's how many we got. Pretty good amount, not bad. I think I'm actually just gonna leave it right here. That way they can swim up and down the water column. Maybe they like that. Maybe they don't. See if we can get him back. It may not, it, that actually might be a terrible idea. No, I think we lost one. I think we lost them all. Yeah, that was a bad strat. That was a bad strat. We lost them all. No way, dude. We literally lost them all. Look, they're backed up into the corner waiting for you. Well, that was that was not good. That was, that's not good. Now the only one we have left is this guy, Tammy. Just stunting them. Okay, never mind. He wouldn't be a bad one to eat either. But these are our friends. They're not food. I guess we'll get more water. I guess the good thing is that we still do have tomorrow to check the traps again. Now that should be good right there. Catch y'all tomorrow. All right guys, this is our third time checking this trap. Third time's the charm, hopefully. As you can see, the water has risen. This is my last time checking the trap, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it up. And all the chicken breast is gone, but the trap is open. What happened here, boys? The trap opened. Oh, we got the mother load. We got the mother load. Looks like we got a decent mix of crawdads and minners, which is good because we are currently after both. We got some minners in there, actually pretty good size, and then a bunch of smaller crawdaddies. That one's probably not even crawdaddy, probably cross sun. You get the point though. This little guy, he ain't much. Something light, nothing heavy. He'll probably get bullied by Tammy. Oh yeah, 100%. And you can already see one from here. One, I think that's all we got. Two. Three, Three, four. Oh, snap. These are good ones. These are big crawdaddies. Check them out, bro. Oh, dude, look at all the crayfish, as Ace Videos would call them. Dude, we got five big ones. Can they see those or not? Yeah, they can see them. Can they see them or not? Yeah. Can y'all see them? Look at that one just posted. Or not? Huh? Look at that one just posted up on the side over there. Looks like Post Malone to me. Post Posty, brother. Ow, Posty. Come on, Post. Post Malone, world famous rapper doing big things, and he's out here being in our videos in our trap. Thanks, man. We appreciate every every time you support us. Not to forget the baby. Yeah, that one's the baby. See, look there. <laughs> Got some bop in it. Let's go. The rest of these are still on SoundCloud. They ain't it yet. Pretty solid. Let's go put them in this pool. All right, guys. We're back at the homestead. Good morning, Kanye. Good morning, Kanye. Anyways, first thing, the baby. Let's go. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Ain't doing nothing. Next up, this guy, which is basically a shrimp because he doesn't have pinchers anymore. <coughs> Lame. The crib himself. There we go. One leg. There's two chains. Post Malone. Can't forget him. Never forget. 
Beetlejuice. Dang, how many crawdaddies did we get? Dude, I'm not even done. Here's this guy. I forgot his name, but he ain't much. <laughs> Hit us with it one time. Here we go. I love it. Dance moves. There's two under that, that right there fighting already. Ah, uh, yeah. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Never mind, they passed each other peacefully. But we are going to put our minners in here. Because just like the crawl daddy, minners are very important. You know what would be terrible? If yeah. I would have knocked it over. Our population of minners over here? Getting straight cracking, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man. Outlawed say that. Nevertheless, guys, comment below. Do we eat these guys? Or do we just keep them as pets? And expand their enclosure. Which is definitely a possibility. Stay tuned, guys. We're, we're bringing in the... Bring in... We're bringing in special equipment and we're gonna be starting a feeding frenzy in the next week. So stay tuned, about to get wild. Hit the like button below and comment in the section. Sign us out, Posty. Pound it, noggin.